What's up everybody? Welcome to the 5150 Gringo Garage. Today we're going to be installing the Apostle. This is a kitchen sink faucet with a little retractable thingy majiggy. So this is what I got right here. We got the kitchen sink. We got the faucet right here. Look at that. So when you're doing dishes or you got to clean out the sink up on this little area or over this area, man, you got to sit there and splash water and all kinds of crazy things. And I don't want to do that no more. I want to, I want a faucet with a retractable thingy majiggy. So anyways, um, with this faucet, it requires tools. And what it requires is a crescent wrench, a, a Phillips screwdriver, and a bucket. So we're going to try to knock this out here pretty fast with just those three tools. So let's go ahead and we're going to climb under the sink and take a look. All right guys, so right here is the sink. Let's get up under here. So, um, let's take the off here. So we got our two lines, we got our hot and cold. And up top is the bottom of our sink with our lines coming out of it, you can see it. With the little copper uh, little piece up there. And that's it. So first thing we wanna do is shut the water off. enough you see there's no no water running to it perfect now let's check out the faucet so we got our instructions and this be the fancy faucet so you got your two lines you got a third one here this is for the retractable part of it so there you go see it's also got your little on and off switch sprayer and this kind of got that nice little dark i don't know what color this is my wife bought it anyways looking good here's the base to it i think that's i think that's plastic and you got a couple adapters And you have a weight. This is the weight to pull the retractable part down. And that's it. Let's get to installing. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our fittings off. Right up on the copper part, there's a couple screws we gotta get to. So I'm gonna take those three screws out and I'll be right back. So I got the three screws loosened, and now we can go ahead and spin the big nut off the bottom. Right here I got everything laid out just so I know where it's at. And this should pop up. So we're gonna clean this off and then we're gonna go ahead and drop our new one in. All right, so we'll take the other one. We're gonna put it right all in the center hole there. Hopefully it's gonna fit. Make sure we take off this um, take off this big nut off the bottom before we drop it in. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we got our base on. Um, Followed by the plastic, oh, you see the plastic ring and the, the little rubber ring. So that's gonna fit right over there. Drop right in there. Now we're gonna have to climb back underneath and screw that big bolt on the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Just a reverse procedure on this one. Put that um, brass or whatever, um, Bolt on and then tighten down your three screws. And we'll be right back. All right, so I got the washer and the nut on. So what you do, spin this nut 
all the way up till it stops and then use your three screws to tighten it all down. I'm up under that sink. Oop, two days. What, some swirlies right here? I'm gonna undo. All right, so this comes with adapters if your, um, your fittings aren't the same, but mine are, so. I'm gonna do my cold water. And then of course your red hot. Here it is. So we got one that's labeled weight here. I don't know if you can see that guy. So for the weight, we got to unscrew it. There where it says. All right, so this is where the bucket comes in. It says we gotta put this up here. And we have this little blue line. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm turning the faucet on from up here and it's spraying the water down here. Okay, now we get our weighted line and that blue one that you just saw. Oh. So we got two lines left, we've got two little quick connects and we just plug those together, just like that. So my weight's right here, but I need it to like be right here. So the reason for it, well, all we gotta do is loosen it. No big deal. Loosen this bad boy up. So you have the weight on the actual faucet part, cause this is the one that retracts. So I need this weight right up here. Something like that. So we'll tighten it back on. So everything is set. All right guys, see, got a little bit sweaty, but anyways, took me about 10 minutes to install this. We're gonna go ahead and try it out right now. Let me know what you think. I give this one on a scale of one to 10 on how hard it is, probably a two, it's pretty simple. Anybody can do it. Don't pay a bunch of money for a plumber, no offense to plumbers, but here it is. So I still got a, this base was a little bit smaller, so I got a, try to polish this all out, which I'll do later. But anyways, this is the faucet. You pull it down. I mean, the weight's on there, but that's to hold it up. You just put it right back up and it stays. So faucet on. Looking good. We got our little buttons on the side here. All right, so there's the faucet. You push this one. Whoa, so this changes to this here, pretty nice. And this, you pull this down and you just hit the trigger there. Bang! Put it right back up. Come over here, bring it down. So it has to be pressed, you, you can't just, but whatever. Thing. I actually feel the wind blowing off that thing when I do it. I wish I had hair, I'd show you. Last but not least, what you gotta do after installing anything in this thing, make sure it ain't leaking. Nothing leaking. All the lines are good, make sure you check these fittings. Sometimes the little rubber o-ring can leak. No leaks. So, yeah. So anyways guys, that's how you install a faucet. Super easy, you guys. Um, makes your house look a lot better, makes a lot of things a lot easier to do. Cause this is a new house and I put you know, this faucet on there, which is pretty nice. It feels pretty, I mean this feels a lot more heavy duty than the one I got. It just broke my light.
So anyways guys, hope this video was worth a broken light. Um, give it a thumbs up and remember, I will see you on the next video.